I recently finished a project and it showed up with these burrs on it. So it got me to thinking they were too hard to sand and file off. So I went back to my design stage. What I did is I had an issue with burrs on this carving. So I looked at it and thought about it. And what was happening in the tool path, we'll look at the first one, is that it was carving in this direction. See the raster where it goes back and forth? And the fiber sticking out of the wood was coming out that way too. It came out upwards at about an 80, 90 degree angle. So it was slanted. So I was carving into that. And what would happen is that fiber would slide past the cutting tool. And that left all these fibers hanging out on this side, this side, and on this side. And they were quite long. Some of them were an inch or more. I started to try to file and sand it off. And I went, there's got to be a better way. So this is what I did. I created a new tool path. I didn't move my unit out. So it was everything was still set up. So my home point was still dead center. The project had not moved. I just recut it, changing the raster angle. So I came out of here at a, at a 45 degree angle. Let me home this or resize it so you can see it. So I come out of here cutting at a 45 degree angle. And that cut basically cut across those burrs that were sticking up and cleared most of them out. There were a few left over here. So what I could have done was selected this picture and changed my raster angle so it closely matched the side of this. And that would have saved me sanding all those off too. So I could have actually done three cuts on this. So it's if you get into a project where you get these burrs coming up, you know that you've got a method inside this cutting tool to change your raster design so it'll come across and clip those. So it's just a suggest, suggestion for future use. And when I did that, let's look at this one on our preview tool path. We'll do just this one and slow it down so you can see how it's cutting. See now it's at a 45. I speed it up a little bit. You see it's cutting across and you can't stop this unfortunately so I'll just go it like that and it goes quickly. Now if you look at this one, I'll slow it down. I gotta reset it to visible tool path. You see how it's going back and forth? So that's at a night basically a zero degree angle, so it's straight. 90 degree would up and down to 45 as you saw was across. So that's the difference. Just it changes that angle of cut. Makes a difference in sanding, makes it a whole lot easier. So hopefully this tip helps. Have fun with your CNC. Take a look at this. You can see it actually in process where it's cutting. And if you look, you'll see some of the burrs or shavings fly right off. So what I'm going to do next is speed this up so you can see it cleaning up and then we'll look at the finished project. Enjoy. Oh, it's a little faster, but we're going to look at the way it was before. Right here, see the burrs? Now this is what it looks like after. So you can see, still see some burrs right in there, but they're a lot shorter than they were before. Um, this one cleaned up a little better than the other one, but it depends on the hardness of the grain. That's right in the center of the wood. You can see it's finishing off the last one over there on the left. So it does a good job of cleaning that up. Uh, it's pretty handy tool to use. Keep that in mind the next time you come across when you're carving and you look at it and say, whoa, what a mess to clean up. How am I going to do that? And as you can see, after a little bit of sanding, it's much better. You can also see right in here on the left-hand side and the right-hand side on this one, but on the left side, uh, some burrs that are still left. The one on the left, if I had it to do over, because it took a little while to sand that, I would have actually carved it at a negative 45, and it would have came alongside those and cleaned all those up for me. Uh, I have a file set that I bought from, that's one of them right there, from Harbor Freight. 
they were seven or eight dollars and they do a pretty good job after a while they get filled up and you brush them out or you throw them away and buy another set they're not that expensive so that's what I've done and you can zoom in there to show you the little bitty burrs that are there on the left and there's still some on the right that cleans out on the oval pretty quickly with sandpaper so that came right off I didn't really feel the need to carve it again so that's what I did I just set in the sunshine or in the shade because it's a beautiful summer day here and uh, finish that model up and the picture at the end will show you what the finished product looked like it's one of the reasons I still do this it's always something new to learn and it's kind of fun to make beautiful projects take care and have a great summer